What's up guys, it's Raylo and I am back for one more commentary. We're gonna keep going with this little streak. I'm very proud of myself, so uh give yourselves a round of applause for me and yeah, smile because that didn't make any sense. So we're coming back here on a state and this is actually a pretty nice gameplay. Uh, I end up with a high kill death spread and a very high ratio. Rocking the scar with the FMJ, Dula Kimbo GA teens. I got Scavenger Pro, Stabbing Power, Sit Rep, C4, and my Stun Grenade. So right here, always when I spawn on this lower hill, I like to come up to B and just try to defend B because I know it's a high profile spot. And I'm not going to talk about the gameplay too much today. I just wanted to kind of... Uh, open up with that because I do have a lot of time to talk here um, so oh look at this C4 boom get C4 yeah that's an explosive it's in your face explosive to the face just like tapes um, so yeah I'm just checking for B here I know that they're coming back for that revenge anyway we'll move on from the gameplay I'm talking here today god I should have got this guy Ooh. Uh, so I'm talking here today to just kind of update you on our senior pranks for Roosevelt. Um, I'm a senior in high school. Actually, I just graduated a couple days ago, so I'm done. I had uh, college orientation. I've enrolled at Seattle Pacific University, and I will be uh, I'll be taking classes there this coming fall. Uh, my classes start the 24th of September. I'm super excited, and I actually just registered for classes. So I'm going to be taking uh, general psychology. Uh, microeconomics and uh, a USEM class which has to do with business and it's uh, it's kind of like an introductory to college it's just like to get you ready prepared for for what classes are gonna be like it's supposed to be a, a fairly easy class and I'm just gonna be taking three classes a quarter uh, for 15 credits and hopefully I can you know keep up a good GPA uh, I'm going for a business major uh, and, and we'll see how that changes throughout my career here in this college life um, so, the senior pranks. Back to the senior pranks. I talked about um, what we were doing the last time, and um, it just didn't happen. So, what we were going to end up doing was we were going to drive some cars. For those of you that don't know, we were going to drive cars onto our track just uh, in the beginning of the day so that when the people started to roll in, they'd s see our cars just on our school track parked around we'd have about 30 cars we we're just gonna remove the poles real easy uh, we have a kid that can pick locks so he was just gonna do that we just take out the poles as I get my Harriers right here watch this the double kill that guy just pops up Whoop. yeah and so we we're gonna just move the cars onto the track and uh, b hopefully this is what I wanted to do we I wanted to blast the same radio station from all the cars and have the same um, songs playing at the same time hopefully it wouldn't be commercials because that would just be stupid it's just like Ah, five ninety nine for this. But um, so that's what we were planning on doing, and it just didn't work out. It wasn't really the uh, easiest way to get people organized, and it just kind of didn't work out the way I'd hoped for it to. Uh, so we we moved on from that idea, but we did end up doing a senior prank. We were uh, very uh, lackadaisical in our organizational abilities, and uh, we finally pulled through. Facebook is always a great way to organize things. And we had a group just for all the seniors, and uh, I kind of had that group senior prank going on just to kind of get people updated on what we were doing. And uh, I, my friend, uh, I won't name him, he just he came up with an awesome idea, and uh, it just kicked off right away. So it was two days before our last day of school. This was on the 13th of June. Um, and what we did is we uh, pooled our money together within that next day, we got enough money to buy a 14-foot pool, and uh, we bought actually a thousand pounds of sand, even though it wasn't going to be enough. When we have a courtyard right outside our school, uh, so it's like where you eat lunch, kind of, and only if it's a sunny day, really. So it doesn't really work if it's uh, if it's messy out and all that garbage. But what we did uh, do is we bought a thousand pounds of sand, bought the pool, and we had about 30. I'd say 30 people came. Um, the day before, the, or the night before, excuse me, I should say the night before the last day of our school. Um, and this is when we were uh, checking out for seniors, so it was our last just like go to school and get signatures, and, uh, and that would be it. Um, and so we were getting pretty pumped, but we were up till about, I'd say, 3 or 4. The, the later people stayed till about 4. I left at about 2.30. And uh, what we did is I went down there, 
and we hooked up the hoses. We bought a bunch of hoses or brought some, I guess. We hooked them up to the school's water system, and uh, we just started filling up our pool. We had a little air pump. We had a couple air pumps, actually, and we were just pumping up the pool while filling it up to uh, get that nice little beach look. While the other group of people, as I get my nuke there, and then, boop, the 26 kill. Um, while the other group of people, uh, and this was including me, were uh, putting out sand. So we dumped the 1,000 pounds of sand that we had in our courtyard. We had some, like, nice little white sand. Uh, that was pretty sweet, but we didn't have a whole lot of that because that's the stuff we actually bought. And so we didn't have enough sand, but thankfully we live super close to the beach. Um, there's actually a little lake by uh, Roosevelt that has some sand. And so me and a couple other people, we got we got a truck together. We got a couple 50-gallon uh, garbage cans. or anything. I think it's about 50 count. Maybe it's 100 gallons. I'm not sure. And uh, we just went to the Green Lake and filled them with sand. And that took about probably an hour or two. And... God, that stuff is heavy. Sand is ridiculous how heavy it is. Um, so we ended up going, oh, as I die and lose my streak. We ended up going and picking up uh, probably another 2,000 pounds of sand. We had about 3,000 pounds of sand is my guess. And we had to haul that up to the truck um, from the beach. And it was just a big pain in the booty. And then we had to put it on hand trucks and roll it into our courtyard. That was definitely the hardest part. Um, the sand is just ridiculously heavy. I don't know if you've ever tried to lift sand. Kind of hard uh, just because it's so, you know, sand-like. And it's uh, just slip through your fingers. But sand is very heavy, especially if you put it in, like, a tank or, like, a contained caner. Or a container. Contained caner? I don't even know what that is. Come on, Raylo. Um, and so that's what we did. We dumped it onto the courtyard, spread it around with some uh, brooms, and just kind of evened it out. And uh, that was about when I left. And what we did is we had two Home Depot buckets full of sand, um, and we took uh, two like metal poles. I think they're actually just PVC pipes, and we attached them and made a little um, what's it called? What's it called? A volleyball net kind of out of it. So we were playing beach volleyball, and uh, the way that it worked with the seniors and and the prank is we did it again in the morning. So we had a bunch of people come in. Uh, it was through the Facebook group and through text messages. We just said, come to Roosevelt at uh, 6 in the morning and, uh, you know, we're going to have a little beach barbecue and just kind of hang out with the seniors. I got there probably about uh, 6.37 and that's about when the, eh, there was a good 30 people there, but it wasn't the, the cracking group that it was coming to be. Um, we had a, a nice little speaker with a bass, bass thing in there and uh, we were blasting music. It was probably 6, 7 in the morning. Just blasting music, and my friend brought a barbecue. We had a, a barbecue there, and we were doing hamburgers. We had brat burgers. We had brat worst, and then somebody brought uh, a buttload of bacon, and we kind of fucked that up. It got a little uh, got a little burnt, but we redid the bacon, and it ended up doing okay. We had like a nice little barbecue in the morning. It was very very funny. The best part about this, though, it wasn't just that like. It was like a prank on the school. It, it didn't hurt the school at all. Like, we didn't, like, vandalize the school. We didn't, like, set it on fire. Like, I don't know, blow it up in turbines or anything like that. And just kind of laugh and run it away into the bushes and just be like, ah, and just like, we're seniors. We don't give a fuck anymore. No, we had fun and we made it safe. We didn't ruin anybody's day. Uh, school resumed as normal. We were there till about 8. I'd say at 8:15 outside, and um, we had the we had probably about a hundred people out there. So there's a hundred seniors, and then there was all these people like the underclassmen and the teachers that were just surrounding us, just watching. It's like we had a little crowd, or like we were in the Hunger Games or something, and there was just like a bubble around us, and they were just watching us like get down, and like we were uh, we had a couple people go swimming in the morning. It was pretty cold, so I didn't go in then. But we were all in swimsuits and flip flops and towels and beach clothing and uh, just the attire necessary to proceed with that uh, little picture that we painted for ourselves. But back to the best part, I mean the best part was just that we, um, you know, we didn't hurt anybody. The teachers loved it. They were all laughing, taking pictures and just congratulating us on how good of a job we did. We didn't ruin the school. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but uh, when I was in freshman year, the senior class bought a uh, they pulled together and bought a car it was just like a rundown pretty awful looking car um, they bought a car 
and they drove it up a couple of miles to the school and they somehow got it into the courtyard where we did our beach. Nice little people killer, BT dubs, as I get another area, ooh. Uh, so they bought that car and put it into our courtyard and it was disassembled in there and so the, the administrators had to like get a tow truck and get it paid out, which was sort of funny. Um, I thought that was actually a pretty good one and we were wondering how we could top that, but I think this beach thing really did it. Um, we ended up actually getting two news crews. We had King 5 News. Uh, they came at about 8.30. They were a little late to the show, but Q13 Fox was there right away, and they were taking videos, asking questions, and talking pictures, taking pictures, not talking pictures. Um, and it was a pretty little, cool little shindig that we had going on. I was very excited, and it made my senior year just... It just popped off. It was so much fun. Um, and it really is just because I got nervous with the um, lag here, so I just called it and I didn't want to lose it. Um, we just had a lot of fun, and the teachers congratulated us. They thought it was a great prank. And, you know, it was just, it just made the end of senior year perfect. It was just a, such a good end to it because all of the teachers will remember it for probably the rest of their lives. Um, as we come to the end of the game here, we win by a tactical nuke. As you can see, I went 67 and 7 with 4 assists, which is just a lot of kills and not very many deaths. I think I did pretty well. If you think I did so, go touch yourself. I don't know, man, whatever floats your boat. I will see you guys later. If you'd like, click on a new video or you can subscribe. That'd be awesome. Have a nice day, guys.